smile and learn. Hello, everyone. What's the weather like today? I'm going to look out the window. Wow, it's windy. Perfect for flying a kite, right? To find out what the weather is like, we can look outside and observe with our senses. Humans have been doing this for thousands of years. But science has come a long way. Today, meteorologists, or scientists that study the weather, use instruments to predict the weather. Not those instruments. <laughs> We're talking about weather instruments, the special tools that help measure the weather. They help us to better understand the weather and predict what it will be like in the future. Today we will learn about some weather instruments that give information about the wind. Weather vane. The weather vane is a weather instrument that we put in high places, like on the roofs of houses. It helps us to know the wind direction. Weather vanes usually have a decorative figure on top. Surely you've seen one that looks like a rooster. But the important thing is the arrow that moves and shows us the direction of the wind. On weather vanes, we also find the directions north, south, east, and west. These stay still and when it is windy, the arrow moves and points in the direction of the wind. Did you know that the important thing is not to know where the wind is going, but where it's coming from? This helps us to predict the weather. For example, in some places, certain winds can bring rain or dry weather. Interesting, right? Anemometer. The anemometer is a weather instrument that measures wind speed or strength over a period of time. The most common anemometers have little cups that turn when the wind blows. The faster they turn, the higher the wind speed. Wind speed can be measured in various units of measurement, for example, in miles per hour or knots, which is the measurement used in sailing. And why is this all so important? Well, knowing the wind direction and speed is important in many situations. For the food we eat, knowing wind patterns helps farmers know how to plant their crops to protect them. It's important because we all like to eat, right? For sustainability, wind speed is important in wind power generation. If you observe very strong wind patterns in an area, you can know if it is a good place to have windmills and generate electricity from wind. For transportation, wind direction and wind speed influence the direction that boats sail. They are also very important for when airplanes take off and land. For our daily lives, on windy days it can be dangerous to go outside because, for example, tree branches or other things can fall. But also, knowing if it will be windy can help us decide when to have a picnic or fly a kite. We still have a few more weather instruments to discover. Don't miss them in the next episode. I'm off to fly my kite. See you later! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.